Hi, welcome to a warm afternoon in Chesterfield. We've had a few hits and misses over the last couple of days with a, a bit of a light frost one night and some very warm temperatures during the day. But I think it's come to the time where I need to start prepping the pond, ready to open it up for the summer season. What we're gonna do over the next couple of days is a bit of spring cleaning. We're gonna do the window, we're gonna do the covers, we're gonna clean the wall up and we're gonna have a look at the fish. If you've got any questions or anything, please write them in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, check out some more videos. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy. You can see the weather's fine. Them things are coming ready into bloom, so they're going to be having fairies everywhere. So the weather's nice. I've taken the front cover off. You can see the state of the window. So what we're going to end up doing is get the covers out, get the covers off, get that cleaned. I'm not going to go to power wash much today because the power wash is broke. I'll catch a video of the power washing up later, but we're going to open it up, get ready for the uh, spring, the same with the grow on tank, and have a quick look at those. What I've got is some NT Labs Mediclay, which is a pure high calcium, and this is a good one, Mont Marillonite Clay. Basically, it just adds a few minerals back into the pond, and it's supposed to help with the uh, the health of the koi regarding the skin or any issues on that one, hence the medi part of it. And that's basically just if you've got any body damage or any symptoms of ill health. You can all use it to imp also use it to improve the water quality and clarity of the pond. So basically what it does is because it's got either got negative ions or positive ions into the powder, what it does, it goes into the water, it mixes with the algae, other bits and bobs in there, clumps up with it, and then it goes through the filtration system, it gets dragged out, hence clear water after a few days. So what I'm going to do is dose, which is just to improve the water quality and clarity, I'm going to add 100 grams per 100. Uh, I'm going to add 100 grams per 1,000 gallons. The pond is 2,250 gallons, so I'm going to add 225 grams. like a few of the other treatments the water is slightly discoloured or a bit cloudy but that will clear depending on your turnover rate of the pond and your filtration system that should clear hopefully within 12 to 36 hours 
but I'll show you in 24 hours and we'll see what it's like. That's 12 hours later from when I put the very clay in, so it's not as if it's a horrendous sight for days on end. That's how it looks after near 12 hours. And that's a little about half an hour under 24 hours since it was since I, since I put the medi clay in. You can see the water's near enough for uh, back to full clarity. Everything seems to have settled. And the fish are looking good. And it does make a refreshing change when you wake up in the morning and you look at the pond and you can see the fish, the bubbles. Here's to a nice, long, hot, sunny summer season. As you can see, the many clays well and truly cleared now. The pond's looking ideal. The fish are loving it. Wilson's loving it too. As you can see, the water is really clear. That down to the bottom of the bottom drain is about 1.25 in the middle. You can see right at the back. And like I said, that's probably one of the best things I've ever done is to put the window in because from the comfort of the patio, you can see everything, otherwise any appreciation you get of the fish is the sun looking, uh, sun looking down at them. That's one of the next videos to look at, the back of shower. But for now, we'll sit back and enjoy the fish. That's a view from the sun lounge on the settee, on the patio. As you can see, as much as I enjoy watching the fish, the fish enjoy watching us. Just another one for the record. Blue tits have come back to the nest box again. Thanks a lot for watching the video so far. Have you seen that's the first step of opening the ponds up and get them all ready for the summer season. There's a few more bits and bobs that we need to do with the water parameters and a few other checks but the first thing is to take the covers off, clean the pond up and give them some sunlight. As you can see the water's cleared up, the fish are swimming around happy and hopefully it's going to start to a successful happy season. We're now going to have a look at trying to rehome a few of these fish and to move the uh, shagoi on so if anyone's interested please write them in the comments below or message me direct like I always say, this channel is nothing without you, so if you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, check out some more videos. From a beautiful, sunny, hot, warm afternoon in Chesterfield, happy ponding.